in the kitchen, we've got Chef Carolyn Scott Hamilton, and you're turning us on to, to being healthy voyagers. What, is that, what does that mean exactly? That basically means being well, healthy, and fit while on the go. When you're traveling, just trying to be a little bit healthier. And that's really the hardest time, right? You're not at home, you can't control what you eat, so you've got some ideas to not pig out and blow the diet. That's right. When we're on the road. That's right. All kinds of neat tips and tricks. Uh, good. I love it. Well, if you are looking for a healthy snack to eat while you are traveling or on the go, we've got help for you. Chef Carolyn Scott Hamilton, the author of The Healthy Voyager's Global Kitchen, is here to show us some unique and delicious options. And we were joking during the break, but it's totally true. When I'm on the road, I'm a, I'm a pretty good eater, but I will grab a bag of Cheetos in a heartbeat because I just can't figure out anything else to have when I'm on the road. You are not alone. Do you say it doesn't need to be that way, though? It does not. Okay. And it should not. And it should not, more That's importantly. Right. So you're going to show us a snack that we can make and we can take this with us yes. on the road. Yes. This is my favorite snack to take when I travel. It's a great snack to take to the movie theater. Mm -hmm. It's chocolate kale chips. Easy to make. You'd be so surprised how quick and easy it is to make and how fantastic they taste. You know, for the last year, people have been trying to force kale on me and I have said no. But you're telling me that your husband feels the same. He is not. But a, he will eat these. Kale, yeah. It's the Vogue veggie. For sure it is. In fact, okay. I think kale chips was named like the most popular snack of the, the year. It is the call me maybe of snacks. It is. That it is, really it's is. in heavy rotation right now. But we're going to make them yummy. Yeah. We're going to kale you maybe. <laughs> well, you right now. Good. Carolyn, you can stay as long as you want. That was <laughs> awesome. I'm going to use that one. Okay. All right. So we're going to start with fresh kale. Okay. Already been washed, drained. Easy to just take the curly kale. There's the dinosaur kale, but the curly kale is the best for the chips. Okay. You just rip it right off to make little bite-sized pieces, right? All right. Like it. Ready, Freddy. So now we're just going to add in some cocoa. And this is 100% cocoa from cacao bean. No processing, uh, no Just sugar. get it at the grocery store, the, the baking aisle or something? Yeah. Okay. We're going to put some chia seeds in here. You can also use ground up pumpkin seeds. You can use anything you like. But when just you say chia seeds, I imagine the things that I water and they grow hair. Is that the same thing? <laughs> Not quite the chia Not pet. The, okay. The seeds, Different things, the seeds. the seeds. Okay. They have a lot of good fats in them. Give it a little bit of texture, chia a little seeds. crunch to it. All right. Then we're going to put in the sweet stuff. This is the agave. You can use maple syrup if you want, but I like to use like raw agave. And this is what's going to help everything stick so, to It's the a chips. really good sweetener, agave is. I, I learned, literally learned about it doing segments right here. It's a really good sweetener, but you said maple syrup as a... If you like, if, you if that's the only thing on you can find, we're going to do a little bit of vanilla. Mm -hmm. That always... This is a very... I love your setup for your ingredients. It's Thanks. very, uh, yeah, tea set, Japanese tea set looking. It is, it is. A little bit of lemon juice because this is going to kill the bitterness of the kale. Good. And, and then, this looks like... This is almond butter. And again, you get some good fats, you get some protein. You get protein from the kale anyway. Right. Contrary to popular belief, greens have a lot of protein. No, and kale especially, no. And, so, and we're just going to we're we're mix it if up? If you want to do it with your hands, go right ahead. This is great to do with kids uh, after they've washed up. Audra's not here to yell at me, so I am <laughs> tempted to do it with my hands. But I think, it, yeah, I'm going to do it again. I'm doing it with my hands. Look at that. I can't get go in trouble. Audra's not here. OK, and this get, is all, and this is all I'm there. doing. I'm just, just mixing it all it, in. Get it all fully incorporated. OK. Go to town. This is fun. So once it's all nice and gooey, all, right. all the leaves are nice and coated, you're going to transfer them to a baking sheet. OK. I'm just going to If you have a right dehydrator. Watch this in one stew. Da, da, da. Bam. Oh, look at that. Bam. Look at that. It's pretty good, you're actually. You're going to be a little, a little cleaner than that when I, you do make I could it at home. be, but this is, this is fun. I, it's, normally, it's I fun. cook with a six-year-old, so this is fun for me. And this is great for six-year-olds, teaching them about greens. But we're, we're going to want to spread them out to make a single layer. So Moose, that do you have a towel for me or anything? Too gooey. Anywhere? No? Can't help me? Okay. You don't want them too gooey. You want a single layer. So when you pop them into the oven, they... They cook evenly. Evenly, sure, exactly. Sure, sure. So you're going to want to put them into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes. And then when we're done, we get these uh, lovely jobs. You can just set that down because I want to show right. you the finished product because I still want to talk about what I can do with my coffee maker uh, yes. and hotel room. So these are the finished product. Finished product. These beauties right there. They're I'm great try for them. Halloween. They look like bat wings. If you want they to do. put a little peppermint oil in them for they Christmas. They taste a little like bat wings. Now that you might, no, they don't. They're actually very good. They're very good. They're good. And They're you know really what's fun? fun? You taste the chocolate, but not the, 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 kale, greeny, the really. greeny kale. Really. Yeah, yeah. All those flavors incorporated in kind of kill the bitterness of kale. So for folks who don't like kale so much, this is a nice Enjoy intro. Enjoy the chocolate. My exactly. hands are terribly messy, but so before we touch. run out of time, yes. tell me a little, some things we can do in our hotel room. In the hotel room to save time, money, and if you're on a special diet or you're looking for healthier options, the best thing to do is cook in your hotel room. Okay. Uh, the coffee pot is your friend. The coffee pot, just the pot itself, you can boil hot water and make some miso soup. If you pack some miso soup packets, 
you can cook beans, you can cook chili, you can reheat leftovers in there. Then you can use the grill. It's like a hot plate. It's a hot plate. I mean, it's literally a hot plate. It really is. You can use that to toast things. You can use the iron to toast things. If you have something like a, like a little dehydrated veggie meat, you just rehydrate this in about a cup and a half of water, and you can make little patties, take the dinner rolls home from the previous night's dinner, make some sandwiches to take on the go. This is like gorilla cooking. Yeah, I like to call your, it MacGyver really like cooking. It. MacGyver cooking in your yeah. hotel room. I love that. You can use the ice box to toss salads, to make hummus if you just get some chickpeas. So depending on where you are in the world, if you're really desperate, you can really do a lot with what you have available to you. It's, Pack a little it, flimsy cutting board. It sounds like a lot of planning is what it is. It sounds like taking things with you that you know you can use, having that packet of the soup or having the dehydrated yeah. veggie burger there. Yeah, all that stuff, that's easy to just put in your carry-on, uh, nothing that's going to be taken away from you. And then getting to know your local markets, getting to a local farmer's market. That way you kind of get to know the flavor of the town or the area that you're visiting. And you get to eat better. You eat better. At the same time. And even if you're just taking some snacks with you for sightseeing, that leaves you the option of not getting Funyuns when you're starving, right? There you go. That's good. And that's, exa and that's exactly what I would do. <laughs> Carolyn, I would shake your hand, but you don't want to do that. No Thank problem. You. Thank you so much. You, by the way, you can find this recipe on bettertv.com and many more recipes and great ideas in Carolyn's book, The Healthy Voyager's Global Kitchen. Now, I'm going to go wash my hands, and then <laughs> after the break, soothe yourself without food and the stress-induced cravings it is okay to indulge in. We will be right back to talk about all that.